Hey, I just found a place to plop, prop this up. So, it's just a chair. So, here's gonna be the story time of what has been happening over my travel days. Um, still have not posted the first travel day to Bachelorette Weekend. It already happened, obviously. Um, still editing that, but I'm also spending. So, this is congratulations post Badger Pat Bachelorette Weekend. Um, so we had one left early. So we had seven gals um, that were all leaving on Sunday, which was yesterday, today's Monday. Um, all fine out of Savannah, Georgia, <laughs> all going in different directions. Um, even me and my sister that I came here with, not here exactly, but you know came over here with, um, went home, and I went to my grandparents' house. Um, so we all go in separate different directions. Firstly, we get the notification that my sister's flight is delayed. And I'm like, cool, I'm also going to try to get on mine. She actually had to Uber to the airport all by herself, but she was fine. What a start to the day. Um, a couple of girls already left, one, one gal drove, um, one gal went to the airport early just because that's when her flight was. But I mean, it started to go downhill. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Once we got there, finally, she finally, my sister got on my flight to Charlotte and boom. <laughs> okay. From Savannah, it was a very short, overall, it was a very short flight. But I mean, I did a little shout out on social media. Yeah, let's be patient. They were telling, the airport people were telling us to be patient just because the ground staff was outside. With, they were low staffed. I'm like, mm hmm, there's a lot of places low staffed right now. It doesn't matter where you are. Um, so the plane that I was getting on to go to going to Charlotte from Savannah, it was actually on the runway, landed, all that stuff. And it was stuck behind the plane that was going to a different place, how I knew this, because the plane that was stuck behind was also waiting for it to be taxied in. Um, that plane was going to Dallas, and that Dallas flight was actually delayed even more than we were. I think that Dallas flight was supposed to leave before ours left, but it didn't. Um, crazy because with the, it's a small airport, so it's like we can see all these gates. Um, we can hear all the announcements. So we finally, after a while, we finally. So our time boarding time was two thirty three in the afternoon. Then it said, "Oh, we pushed it." It's like since the thing didn't get to the the planes didn't get to where they needed to be. For us to get on the planes um so it got delayed to 2 52 p.m which was totally fine not a big deal because i had a two hour layover in charlotte north carolina before because there's no straight shot to um nashville from here from those places so i had a two hour delay so i had plenty of time so i wasn't stressing out <laughs> and so <laughs> Here's what happened. So we all board. It's all good. We said, they said, we're going to try to get this boarding because it was a small airplane too. So we went, because it was a short flight. We got everybody boarding. Was everybody board? Everybody quickly. At least our gate was boarding really quickly. They were really efficient, which is great for everybody to board quickly. But we sat on the plane for a little bit longer than we wanted to. Um, I don't know. They were doing all their paperwork, the, whatever they do before the tank, plane takes off. I don't know. They were just doing that. And then the people said something about we need, we're need getting fueled up. And I was like, cool, we're getting fueled up at that moment. But the one side of the plane, which I was on, because I was on the window. And I'm like, I know you guys see a fuel truck, the announcement guy on the pilot. I was like, 
Oh my god, I thought we were already filling up with fuel. Apparently, we were waiting for the fuel truck. Which was also, obviously, there's one, two fuel trucks. There's, they were just obviously going down plane to plane to plane. And I'm like, okay. So I'm getting a little worried. This is when I start to get worried. I wasn't worried. I'm like, okay. And then people started see, they was telling the flight attendants it was freaking out because they saw luggage getting off the plane so they told one of the um, flight attendants and they came on the intercom it's like don't worry those are not your bags they the people who worked down below with getting the bags out or something just decided that there was still bags on our airplane Georgia. that was supposed to be that's the final destination like heck no <laughs> okay so now this is time to get away everybody's panicking because there's a lot of people had connection flights in Charlotte. So the Charlotte wasn't the final destination for that travel day. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Now I'm starting to panic a little bit. I was like, okay. We're totally good. I actually asked the guy next to me. It was two seater. So I asked, I asked the guy next to me. I was like, hey, are you transferring? And he said, yes. It's like, where are you transferring from? He wasn't going to Nashville. So I'm like, that made me feel a lot better. But I'm like, oh kidding me i said because then i learned talking to people i learned that he grew up in charlotte he knows that's charlotte airport from the back of his mind and i told him and like he had his phone pulled up and it's like my flight is supposed to depart from gate like in the a's like gate a something and i'm like and we were unfortunately going into e and i'm like before we even leave the ground in savannah he told me yeah, you had to run. I'm like, oh my gosh. Because if the plane left on time, I would have had two hours in Charlotte Airport and just lollygagged over there with no rush. Oh, and I was wearing the worst clothes ever. I was wearing my blue top and my skirt. So it was short stuff because I like, and I was wearing flip flops. I'm like, are you kidding me? So we finally land in the Charlotte Airport. Unfortunately, we did come out. And of course, of course, this happens when it's like we're trying to get everybody out of the plane as fast as we can. Of course, I'm in the second to last world. I was in row 22 and it was a small airplane. So it was 23 rows in the airplane. And I'm the worship person that's like, so I guess some people miss their flights and then they did figure it out. But I'm like, the guy said, you got to run. And I'm like, <laughs> thanks for telling me. Why am I still here? Get off the plane. Whatever that thing's called. <laughs> Yeah, so that's when my my sister Sarah, who had hours and hours in the shelter airport now because she came with me, it was nuts. It was nuts. I'm like, I'm so tired, and of course, obviously we were wearing a mask because we had to wear a mask in the airport still due to what's going on in the world. But I'm like. We got one, so we ran and ran and ran. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna run out of the bath breath. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna run it. I can run, but I'm like, I'm wearing flip flops. Actually, hang on, these are the flip flops I was wearing. Literally, not. Like what the heck? <laughs> so I'm huffing and puffing in the mask. Like Sarah, Sarah has longer legs than I do. I'm, like, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. And then I started stressing out. I was like, this plane's going to leave without me. This plane's going to leave me without me. This I actually passed the guy on my plane. I don't know when he went off. But I had to, oh my god. I passed the guy. I'm like, hey, it's like good luck catching your plane. I'm like, oh my god. I was the crazy stressed out passenger. Like if you see one of those passengers just running like crazy to the next gate because they're late that was me just in flip-flops and a short skirt and yeah <laughs> i was nuts and you know what time i got to the boarding gate for nashville oh my gosh it was insane um they boarded they were like oh this is the final call this boarding the boarding gate the boarding doors gonna the go door to the plane's gonna shut in 10 minutes i'm like come on stop let me get on the plane please <gasps> oh. <laughs> so that's what happened um and i made the flight this is that's the problem with delayed flights i mean i love flying but that's the problem i'm fine with flying 
the thing that gets to me is the delayed flights because there's no straight shot there's never a straight shot from like where we travel to never <laughs> but i'm like the delayed flights get to you and unfortunately it's just a problem when you have a really delayed flight the first flight and then the next flight is on time <laughs> And like the next bike did not have an issue pulling out of the gate. We didn't sit there for a long time. Once the board's doors closed, they did all the paperwork, whatever they did for that, and then we went out. And it was like a 50 minute flight when split by really, really fast because it was only like Charlotte to Nashville. So it's very short flying time. <laughs> but I mean, they So that was my story. And again the next one is gonna the, the travel vlog obviously is gonna go up before this one and i'm probably gonna do less editing on this one but still <laughs> that's the full story <laughs> so um it'll be awesome if you like subscribe like your favorite videos and comment on your favorite videos i will end up sending this video to the people i know so they actually can watch it if they choose to or not it's up to them so yeah i was slept really good last night and i got a blister one more thing i did get a blister you want to see it it has a band-aid it's a gross band-aid on it but i have a blister on my foot